Hello and welcome to my channel where we discuss the Power Platform. In today's episode, we're going to be having a look at Canvas uh, Power Apps charting components, which um, I got inspired by uh, Todd and Matt, who spoke at the Power Apps community call in October. Um, essentially, there's a video here. I'm going to link this in my in the details uh, below. But the reason I'm so excited is that this is a way in which we can create. Uh, graph visuals and Gantt chart visuals within our Power Apps using data that we have. So how do we get started? Well, first of all, we can head over to the GitHub location and I actually downloaded these files and then we want to bring this in as a component. So if we head over to Power Apps now, um, under the components section, we can actually import a component and what I can then do is upload a file and within here I've already downloaded the charts component so I'm going to bring that through like this and you see I've already got um, the chart and the GAN chart here which is asking me if I want to replace it which is fine so for the purpose of this demo we can replace that chart and now that's come through and if I click on it I've got my chart and I've also got my, my GAN chart um, and essentially what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick up some data that I put into my application. So I'm just going to quickly show that data right here. Um, so I was just intrigued as to how to get this to work really. So I just thought I'd kind of walk through um, my process of getting it to work. So essentially I, I created this table um, and it's got these animals which I saw in the park. Um, I didn't actually sit around and count these. I, it was just the first thing that came to my head when I was putting this together. Uh, so essentially I saw 20 rabbits, I saw 50 squirrels, I saw 78 toads, 120 dogs and 10 cats. Now I decided to name them labels and values and that was just me kind of playing around with that data getting into the format. Now the next thing I did was I actually created um, a page with two charts and you know this is kind of talks you through the process of how you can start troubleshooting something. So first I put the um, component on here. So essentially, if I do that again, I essentially went to my custom components, picked up my component one and put it on my page. Um, it's not my component one, it's actually my chart component. Put that on the page. Then I started, you know, kind of exploring the different uh, properties which we have. So first of all, we can change the type. Now I'm gonna stick with a pie because that's the one I wanna use for this demo. I can change the colors, which is great. I can change the title, right? So straight away, I know that I want to change this title uh, to be something um, more relevant to myself. Um, I can use a subtitle if I wanted. Of course, I could get rid of that as well. Um, now the legend here, I can um, get the source. So what, what is that source going to be for the legend? Um, I've got my actual data. So this is where um, the table is, sorry, that's the options even. Um, and then the data is here. So this is the key. So I saw this and I was like, okay, I need to get my data in this format. Well, first of all, I recognize that these are the values. So if I start changing these, they will change the values. So I went into here and I changed those relevant parts. So all I've done here is essentially made a copy of the chart above. And now if we step through the step, the different sections, which I changed, I decided to ch change the title. So the title now says animals I saw in the park it says on the tin. I then went into my subtitle and I decided to get rid of it. So my subtitle has now disappeared as I do not require that. Um, and then I went into the data, which is where um, I did a bit of toggling around to kind of get this to work. So first of all, um, you'll notice that the value section from the previous um, bit was basically the table sample dot value. So I got the numbers quite quickly. Now, I recognize that when I went into this uh, table, the legends, if I highlight over that, is in this format where it says value as the title and then it's got this table in a column. And similarly with labels, um, there is no kind of column title, it's value again, which is the default title given to the columns, right? So I quickly was able to get my table. However, every time I put in, um, this, which is basically the labels, which is the rabbit squirrel, it wasn't quite working for me. Um, and then kind of, this is really to highlight kind of how you can go about debugging something, how you can get that, that value out. I realized that if I just renamed labels to value, it now gave me 
a table, uh, if I can highlight that, is it going to show? Yeah, there it is. It's going to show me it in values. And if we go back to the chart now, you can see that that's worked absolutely fine. And it's actually put that into a percentage for me. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, do check out the full recording by Todd and Matt. Uh, I'm really excited to actually use this in some more real life examples and I can't wait to see what kind of charts and graphics I can produce from it. Thank you so much.